Hey guys, what's going on? Inception here and welcome to another video. Ladies and gentlemen, today we have the new Gwen Doozy card to review today. Uh, guys, this card looks pretty solid to be a defensive-oriented midfielder because of the things that I've been looking at so far. Uh, with Gwinduzi's card, we're taking a look at someone who is six foot one, high high work rates, right footed, three star skills, four star weak foot. Why is he the more defensive player? Because with the way that this card is set up in game, he is a six foot one player with a high and average plus body type, but he has very good stats everywhere okay so a card like this in the midfield position with a high high work rate that could be your defensive oriented player looks really nice player traits he has none in-game attributes we're gonna be working with 96 for acceleration 93 for sprint speed base card stats for shooting for a midfielder is awesome right 87 for shot power is really good considering the fact that he also has uh, 82 attacking positioning with 80 for finishing base card stats for passing with the four star weak foot under the composure with the with the pressure of the attacker kind of like trying to get the ball back very nice as well with that four star weak foot uh dribbling considering the fact that he is a high and average plus body type is actually very very good because it could actually help with his transition speed because the important thing with cards like this guys right is the fact that they have the high high work rates and that they have very high interceptions because of the fact that they're tall players so they can actually just catch the ball in the air uh be able to just you know, sometimes go for actual defensive animations to get it as well, right? So it looks really good. Defensive awareness at an 86 is not a bothersome thing, in my opinion, because of the work rates being the more important thing for cards like this. Uh, and then last but not least, for physical stats, guys, he has 90 stamina to work with the high, high work rates, 81 for strength to work with that body type and height. And then he also has 92 aggression to work with that height and to work with that body type. So the card looks really good and honestly last night he was 160k and honestly i looked at it and i was like dude this is so cheap for a card like this right so 190k nowadays is still a pretty decent price especially with the links you can work with nowadays because like i told you guys if you didn't do the awar spc you're super sus right but with Gwinduzi in game guys we are going to be trying him out uh, in the 442 with some forward runs tactics to kind of, to kind of force some attacking ai situations out of the card uh, so we're just going to go ahead and switch a few things here and there. Benzema is not a side player, guys, but for the sake of the review, we're going to put him there. Uh, we're going to go ahead and put Bonza here because we are also going to review the Eden Hazard card. Yeah, instruction is going to be nothing. And then you guys are on stay back while attacking cover center. And then they're going to work with that forward runs instruction or a tactic as well. So cool. Yeah, let's go try him out. Hopefully he's a beast. Oh, guys, Gwenduzi has the hair trait. I forgot, dude. Oh, he's the best player in the game, guys, hands down. Ooh, nice green. No venom behind it, but it's a good shot regardless. But we score that one. <laughs> but we score that one. Nice finesse shot there. Beauty. Oh, I didn't get that. Let me get this one, though. Let's see. Legron switch. Well done. When Doozy actually gets involved in the attack, man, on the high, high work rates, you could definitely notice that for sure. Oh, if I greened it, maybe, eh? With Gwenduzi there, maybe. Ah, uh, almost. I think that one deflected. That's why it didn't really come off that well. He was also coming off of a little bit of a drag touch. So the way that they're going to take the shot is going to be a little bit different. Oh, I didn't get that one. But Jesus Navas. Track back was good there. Yeah, so with his high, high work rates, guys, even in a situation like that with the forward runs tactic, you can see that he does definitely plays to that high, high work rate. Little weak foot passes are great there. First time. Not bad, actually. Those are not like passes you should be making, but... First time pass with the weak foot's great. First time. Not bad. That's not like a crazy angle to make a pass from, but he does pretty well there on his weak foot. Oh, I try to reach for that one myself. Ooh, 
what was that? That was crazy. Oh, uh, try to put pressure on him. Sometimes they uh, do really bad dribbles because of uh, the pressure you put on them. They're not bad for dribbling. Ooh, little turnaround from the uh, attacker there. Take that interception real quick. Good run again. That's on a white right there. White time shot. Oh, I wish that was like possession based. Sometimes they do like the swipe foot thing. That thing is crazy. His, uh, his tracking is good with his high, high work rates. I don't mind that at all. I mean, that challenge there, Guendouzi. I mistimed that one. Definitely mistimed that one. Inside the 18 yard box with Gunduzi. Nice. Oh, less power. That would have been an absolute banger. Oh, he definitely should be getting that for sure. He gets the interception initially with the height. Little chest control, a little touch. You can definitely tell that he's uh, the body type that he is when it comes to the dribbling and stuff. Legrand switch again. Oh, maybe if I timed that, he would actually hit it on target. Who knows? Ah, uh, <laughs> I'm trying them, man. I'm trying them. Guys, what's funny about Gwenduzi is that, like, I've played, like, three or four games so far. I'm not getting, like, a lot of defensive stuff with him. Like, his positioning is good, right? We get a challenge right there, but he's not, like, crazy special at defending, if that makes sense. Oh, we got that one, though. Let's go. What a pass that was by Gwenduzi. Was he actually offside? Let's go! Gwenduzi getting involved in the attack right there. Good stuff, good stuff. Oh, good challenge. Good count. I appreciate you. Challenge that one? Oh. What? What just happened right there? I was looking at my player. What did he do? Nice. Just collect the ball. Keep it going. Ball done. Pass it off here. Beautiful. I was kind of hoping that AI-wise he would just go for that challenge himself, but it didn't really happen there. Nice. Great shot. Well done, Gwenduzi. Okay, good. I don't want to press like the actual tackle button for him to intercept, you know? Oh, nice try. Nice try. Yeah, so most of the stuff when it comes to Gwenduzi, you kind of have to like do it yourself with like the tackles and stuff. First time, there you go. I'm gonna force this run here too. Good stuff. Okay, guys, so final verdict on the new Gwenduzi card. So in regards to how he performs in game, guys, we wanted him to be as defensive oriented as possible, right? So we gave him the shadow chemistry style to boost his pace as much as possible, as well as those defensive stats. Now, in regards to how Gwenduzi performs, guys, I would say that a card like this can be played in a 4-4-2 system, but he feels like someone that belongs mostly in a 4-2-3-1 system playing as one of the CDMs because of the fact that he is a six foot one player with a high and average plus body type. In the 4-4-2 system that we are working with, we do have the forward runs tactic kind of forcing the attacking out of the players. So because he is a high, high work rate of players, you do notice you know, him pushing up the pitch uh, to attack from time to time. Uh, we were able to pop in some long shots with him, which is great. But obviously, you do need to green time them as much as possible possible uh, to score those opportunities. Uh, the passing with his strong foot and his weak foot came off great. Uh, the dribbling is cool to work with because of the fact that he is a high and average plus body type. But 
Because of that, that's why I would mainly use him in the CDM position more than that center mid area for a 4-4-2. Um, I also noticed that he's not as crazy defensively as I'd like him to be in regards to like the animation choices and stuff for the slide tackles and the standing tackles, but it's still pretty decent to work with for the stats that he has everywhere else. And then obviously for the physical aspect of the card, it is good to work with because of the fact that he's six foot one uh, with the body type that he has. So uh, it's just one of those cards that I don't think is crazy special, but I think that the price is unbelievable. unbelievable. Uh, for what he can offer you in game as well as the links too. I just don't think he's a crazy special card in my opinion, right? Like, because with a card like this, you want to focus on him being as good as possible defensively, right? Which I don't think he has like a crazy it factor for it, but he's still pretty decent at it. You know, it's just one of those things uh, for me personally when it comes to Gwen Doozy's cards. So yeah, hopefully you guys did enjoy this video. I'll catch you guys for the next one. Peace out, dudes. Love you guys.